Welcome to my 30-day world, an exercise where in 30 days, we're all going to share about our homebrew worlds. Our homebrew world of Dragon Grin is what we're going to be talking about today. My 30-day world is brought to you by the Dead Man's Guide to Dragon Grin Kickstarter. Um, back it. It's live right now. You can find a link in the description and uh, you can hear more about Dragon Grin in these videos. James, what is today's question? Today's question is what deities uh, exist in your realm and are they involved? In Dragon Grin? What do you say? So I, I say that in Dragon Grin we came up with a really clever way to not have to detail every god. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, we did for a long time the Dragon Grin kind of struggle with, oh, well, do we what pantheon do we want to use? Do we want to come up with a bunch? Sure. Do we want to use? Whatever. But we landed on this other idea that a, a sort of a common trope in a lot of fantasy worlds is that the gods just like straight talk to people and, and act through people and are very clear and, and, it, and it is especially sort of in contrast to our world. It's like, no, that guy definitely exists. Like, you can't fault someone for worshiping him. He was here yesterday. Like, dude showed up. Right. In Dragon Grin, uh, sort of the existence of the gods is unproven. Right. There are still paladins and clerics and uh, certainly other people that follow all manner of different religions. But in our world, some of them are certainly real. I think there would, there are some deities or something in Dragon Grin. Some of them aren't. Prove it. But to normal people, exactly, to normal people, <laughs> the idea is that... Uh, it's not, you know, I mean, sure. So, well, yeah. Well, I'd say this. I'd be like, oh, let's say he's a paladin. He just uses magic and he says that a god gives it to him. It's fine. We don't argue. It is also a lot more interesting that the idea is that magic exists. So it's even easier, just like you just did, to sort of say, oh, well, that's just a coincidence or, oh, that's just magic. You're crazy. Or, oh. Exactly. Um, to me, one of the reasons why we chose this, though, one of the strongest reasons is because. Just, again, I'm a tone lich, and whenever we're this broad stroke world building, sometimes something doesn't feel right. The ability for someone to call out and get aid from these deities in a place that's supposed to be hopeless, in a place that's supposed to be dreary and dark and difficult to live in. And potentially frozen in time currently. Right. It is outside of the tone. It didn't make sense. So for the deities to not be involved or to be absent it made way more sense because it created a sense of sort of hopelessness in the people. Exactly. Or A Dead Man's Guide to Dragon Grin, our campaign setting book, is live now on Kickstarter. We would love for you to consider backing the project and bring it to life. We also want you to be involved in the My 30 Day World project. Not only does this allow us to tell you and everybody else about our world, but it allows you to do the same. But on whatever social media channel you're on, just tag it with the My 30 Day World hashtag. Participate. You don't need to worry about doing all of them. Skip a couple days, pick the ones you wanna do. And don't limit yourself. It could be a tweet, a Facebook post. It could be a blog post, a video a live stream, whatever way you want to participate, participate, build your world and share it with us. Thanks so much.